think you're doing here? Wake up! We got intruders! Get them! Do this whole fight. <laughs> Have it your way. Let's go. You're in it now. Let's go. Cool. Check this out. Come on now. I'm up! Take your back shot! Check this out! Come on now! Let's go! Let's go! Uh, uh, cool. <laughs> Don't get cocky. I'm up. Yo. Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get your ass upstairs. In it for the long haul. Huh? Who the fuck are you? The battle is on. Yeah. Check this out. Come on now. I'm up! I got this! Let's go! Oh, good.
Check this out! Don't Come on! Let's go! Going in! some time. Go on ahead. Go! Hidachi san! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving. Did it die, punk?
Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. Now, let's do it. Yeah. You always were too slow. Glad you showed up. I've been waiting a long time for this. You're in it now. Cool. Take this. Come on. Show me your best. Check this out. This ought to end this war. The captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. going up.
what you're doing. Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for eighteen years. That's long enough! Boss. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? Acting Captain, do we have a problem here? No, nothing serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. <gasps> I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. Sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. <gasps> Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. <gasps> go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh... By the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey! Oh man, I lost a bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You 
want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that, and I'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas, so you better save me a big one. <laughs> a big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Ijin Cho. Ijin Cho? Ijin Cho. Isazaki Ijin Cho. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? <sighs> Yokohama? Why am I in Yokohama? <sighs> Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. And I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. You're tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and it went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. And where there are cops, there are questions. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage, that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen, I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. That's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. If you don't want that, we don't want that. Now get out of here. Fine. Uh. I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way, and you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well, can't argue with you there. So, where do we start? Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, you gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you, using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... 
That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um. Uh, sorry about that, Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N A N B A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, I just remembered you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The Chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. The Chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So, if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off. Make some money. Prove you really want to be here. Got it? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. All right. Here we go. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is what you do for money? Kinda lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait. I think I found a 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh yeah, it's my lucky day. <sighs> Man, got my hopes up just to have them crushed. All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other vending machine. Trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. And don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town. All right, then. Good luck, rookie.
How'd it go? I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh... If you're refusing to take it... Does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently, actually. I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Hmm. Your patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. Must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Sure. <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijincho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Oh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. Okay, I get it, I get it. I'll be there. What's up? Oh. Yes.
Wow. Been a while since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too, so you won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin? You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Nope, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. You'll find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. Ah, uh, here we go. Is that? Hell yeah! Let me haul ass on this thing. Hope I don't crash and eat shit though. Look, more cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans too? Yes, I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, you get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. Gotta bust your butt to earn your bread. Sheesh. Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul, but what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Here comes the can man! That's money!
the mark. A new record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already. Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points then. Eco points? Yeah. What you get for turning in cans? Brilliant idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. That's quite a system you've got there. Well, fiat currencies complicate things. You gotta factor in tax rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? For people like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middle. Huh. To be honest, I prefer regular money. Hey there. You collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, after taking out my lecture fee, here's what's left. Swapping your eco points for commodities rather than money it goes far in that way. Got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Consock. I guess I'll see you later. Let it go. I work my ass off. But my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Red rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah! In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain-ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside world. Well, here. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit, the collectors are here! Earlier than usual.
Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, a money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me, I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? The Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. You'll end up dead. <laughs> mafia my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But... Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Nambachan. How's business? Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? Now, oh, now. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day? Must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Stop! Don't open it! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, Namba. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Namba-san. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. 
before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. <laughs> Come on, Nango. This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's do this! You're done! I'm not a loser. Yeah. You're in it now. Now I'm in the off. Watch this. Have fun with this. Yeah. You know I'm in the Yokohama Liomang? You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'll give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama! Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously, when should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your pansy ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. 
Shut up. This isn't even Liu Mang turf. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> 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 You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? That was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. No, oh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? The girl in the red shoes Left with foreigners On a steamship From Yokohama Never to be seen again So here we go. The Jenga was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Lyumang. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, the Komijul. And of 